summary of this part, I think it's running out of time, right? It's about time. Okay, so um, um, so the spin on the transition metals are pretty large, um, especially in Thompson, um, it's minus three percent, and um, and for the flotation, um, not shown in here, um, you can do like spin towards nano oscillators and uh, possible devices uh, that can demonstrate large and wide operations. And right now, I've been uh, working with uh, E tree, and um, although they are having problems uh, getting uh, good free uh, uh, devices, but uh, I think by the end of this year, we should be able to uh, have some uh, industrial level or pre industrial level uh, devices uh, uh, from, uh, from our uh, local research institute. I actually have part three, so but I I ran out of time, so I'll just skip these and uh, just uh, just use probably three minutes to talk about some of my recent work. And I've been working on like the uh, magnetic insulators um, during my postdoc studies, and uh, we just uh, so this work just got accepted by Nature Materials and soon and it's a switching of current usage. So using the, the spin polyvac that I just mentioned, we can actually also switch uh duty iron garnet uh, with the company very consumption heat. And um, you know you can see the anomalous hole effect move and more importantly we can perform current gear switching um, in these devices. So um, spin tor or spin over tor switching I think uh, still have a lot of um, possible but like, novel applications. And I want to thank these people and also want to show you a little bit of, about like, what I've been doing for the past eight months. So mm -hmm. I, I, I set up a very small like, workstation in my office and um, um, I can get like very good um, you know, um, data now these days, but unfortunately I don't have samples. So if you have samples, if you want to share, uh, please come to me. And we can do uh, MR measurement for sure. We can also do bulk at the same time. So we can do optical and uh, transform measurement at the same time. And we're gonna have more lasers. So we can also do like uh, you know, scanning mode um, type of measurement. But this is this is wide field, um, wide field like measurement. So we can measure the, the contrast of this uh, magnetization uh, when you apply magnetic field out of plane. And uh, this is the sample from uh, Professor Sia Fong's group uh, here at the Key Physics. And uh, as long as you have perpendicular anisotropy and you can send current or you can apply the field, and if there's any switching, then um, you can capture um, any kinds of uh, moment, uh, moment of motion or switching using this uh, white field form. So um, I guess I'll just stop here. I don't think you can get coherence because coherence means those spins are having the same like, alignment, right? But typically these will have like, different applications.
it's all the literatures I, I, I read. I never, and, and, uh, unless you're doing like a quantum, quantum physics, a quantum computation, then you have to, to consider no theorems. But I've never heard like people really talk about it. My coherency is in Charles' company. Right. Question. Um, in the latest result, I'm Experience with uh, each and I got it. So wow. I don't know what will happen for an implant case. And I know uh, for implant uh, for implant case, uh, at least back at Cornell, they tried very hard to switch each and I got it using spin hole, but they couldn't do it. Yeah. Um, now they can do it. Yeah, so this is fuel. This is uh, an anomalous hole effect from right. the SMR on the on PMIG. This is the current fuel switching um, using this. Uh, basically, we use pulse, um, just, just apply positive pulse, and then um, versus uh, we can switch the device to a positive state and apply negative pulse and switch it to a positive state. And, uh, it looks like only uh, Yes. So, so it depends on the direction of the input field. Mm -hmm. So that's. Also, uh, a typical feature for switch, uh, SLT switching um, for a particular period, you need to apply the load. And also, the polarity of switching will, will change depending on the input field direction. No, unfortunately, I try, we try very hard. To, to get like image, but uh, since these are transparent, um, yeah, so it's very hard to get because the original plan was to do uh, uh, detection using, uh, I mean, doing this detection optical because for for the anomalous ball signal, uh, it's actually very small, it's only about one milli old, and it, it took us a very long time to get this signal. Seen the, uh, the first presentation I, I did at the ICAUMS, the data was really noisy on the past. It was very noisy and uh, took us a long time to refine uh, the measurement. And also, this device was uh, ionized in case. Uh, the first, the first uh, device we, uh, we reported was uh, extended from TMIG. Yeah, but now it's a uh, fully ionized. So I think probably that's the reason why the data looks so clear. Um, so do, do you need to apply internal, external view? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We have to apply 500 for step. 500? Yeah. With B. Yes, for, for SLT switching, yeah, this is. But it's not the largest that we see. I, I think typically for tantalum devices, um, um, the implant bias field will be like 100 or less than 100. But for platinum devices, um, to do switching, we need to have a much larger implant field. Any question from Mr. Jonas? Okay, uh, thanks, Austin.